Everybody, it is Lynn Telfer here, and I am with the craziest, most wonderful students ever. Well, when I say students, I don't actually mean students. They're ants. That's right. These guys today are ants, and we are going to create our own ant farm. Now, before we actually got on the world, we did some research. We know what kind of ants we're going to be. We know what we eat. We know where we live. We've even looked at real ant farms to see all the different chambers. And we've even researched all the different roles that the ants have. You see, all these students here, oh, I mean ants here, have their own roles worked out. I think this is going to be fun. Let's go. Before we begin, let's introduce the ant farm control room. This is where food and eggs will appear in the farm just where you want them. Let's see how it works. In this example, our ants eat little seeds. So I'm going to leave the default food as sugarcane. But you can place any kind of items into these chests, these three chests here, and they will then appear right at the top of the ant farm once in a while so the students can collect their food. It's time to get all the ants into the ant farm. Now the easiest way is to stand on top of the ant farm and TP or teleport everybody to you. <laughs> Just like I've done there. Here's the command how you do that. Excellent! They are off and building. But before I show you, I need to get this control room started. So I'm going to need a few things. First of all, I need a minecart. Voila! Just a simple minecart will do. There we go. So now I have my minecart. All I have to do is place it on the track and give it a push. And away it goes. And now it is working. It is putting food in three particular places on top of the ant farm. And what's this one doing? Nothing yet. <laughs> what we need here is to know where the queen is going to be. And the student's going to tell me what position that the imaginary queen is sitting. Once we've got that, I can change these numbers where it says 0, 0, 0 to the actual number of where we want the queen's eggs to appear. I need to do it in that command block and that command block. We'll get back to that as soon as they've actually told me what the coordinates are going to be. Aha! I see something very special. Sarov has placed a red block where he wants the queen to be. Okay, Sarov, what we need to do is get the coordinates. Once we've got that, I can then set up the eggs to appear right here. So the coordinate is 26, oh, 6, 
negative 41. Great. And now I need to do that with the next one. Oops, negative 26, negative 41. I'll have to go and fix the other one. That's better. <laughs> Once the kids have had fun building their ant farm, then it's time to label everything. Here they've made a fungus farm. I absolutely love what they've done here. They've allowed their food to keep growing underground. I love that. Over here, a student has labeled a food storage chamber and in there is all their food being stored. Aha, this place they've decided is going to be the ant graveyard. We discovered that when ants die, they give off a special smell or chemical and the ants will place them away from the rest of the colony. And here you can see the nursery. <laughs> Look at all the little eggs there. <laughs> so this is where the queen would lay her eggs and the people have decided that this is where they're going to keep the nursery. And they also had another nursery stored over there somewhere. So I think they've done an amazing job just creating their wonderful ant farm. Now my little group of ants here are just doing a demonstration lesson but if we had more time we could go far more into depth about the collective mind. What I would then do is talk about how the ants communicate and how they manage to do such a complex job without any verbal communication. And we can also look at our society. Do we have examples of a collective mind? If so, what does it look like and how do we actually communicate our ideas and beliefs using that system? And this is one thing I absolutely love about Minecraft. You can teach any kind of learning outcomes with it. So you can do whatever you want with your app farm I'd like to thank the wonderful students at the Grange Peter 12 College that helped me make this lesson. You guys rock. You know you do. <laughs> okay, until next time. Bye!